sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. Remember, we are also streaming live on standardmedia.co.ke and on our YouTube channels as well. Talk to us across our social media pages at KTN News KE, at KTN Home underscore, at Dennis Aceto. Our hashtag is Weekend Prime and we go straight to a top story this hour tonight. Azimio Laoboja has taken a swipe at the government over its proposed 2024-2025 budget, terming it as a misplaced one and ill-advised. While condemning the National Treasury's budget speech, Azimio Principal Kalonzo Musioka called on the international community to intervene and, as KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Kariuki reports, Azimio has alleged part of the one trillion shilling set aside as budgeted corruption unveiled by National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njugunandungu on Thursday. The budget pronouncements by Treasury CS Njugunandungu have continued to generate mixed reactions across the political divide and opposition leaders in Azimio coalition have taken a swipe at Kenya Kwanza coalition's 2024-2025 budget speech. We informed Kenyans that the Kenya Kwanzaa's economic proposals, policies, and plans were unsound, unrealistic, and unrectifiable. This regime's preference for self-interest over the nation's well-being is evident in the review of the 2024-2025 budget estimates. It's clear that what we are saying as a Zimio is that uh, we condemn the budget and the finance bill in total, and we actually reject it from this platform. The finance bill 2024 has also come under sharp criticism as the Azimio leaders accused President William Ruto's administration of planning to make Kenyans live even harder as the tax proposals will increase the cost of living even further and make life unbearable. As Azimio, we firmly believe that these are serious ramifications for Kenya's economy and standard of living if the bill is passed into law. Bado wanaongeza ushuru mwingine wa fuel levy kutoka asilimia kuminanane hadi asilimia shirina tano. Ushuru huu utaongeza garama ya maisha. Mawasiliano, kila kitu, mafuta ya kienda juu, nauli, maisha ya kila mtu yatakuwa magumu zaidi. In their address to the nation, the Azimio Coalition now wants the international community, civil society organizations to condemn the Kenya Kwanzaa administration for what they term as blatant disregard for the public good for allegedly breaching public trust. We salute Kenyans who have used text messaging, phone calls, and social media initiatives. Hashtag find my MP to urge their legislators to listen to their constituents and vote no. This peaceful civic assertiveness and engagement will eventually become the norm, especially under our leadership as your government in waiting. Meanwhile, ODM has barred all its members of the National Assembly from traveling abroad before they have participated in the voting of the finance bill. The party has directed that the members vote against the bill did receive communication from the Azimio Council directing that we write to each individual member of parliament in our respective parties. I want to confirm that I have dispatched 86 letters to the 86 members of the National Assembly elected on ODM and I'm sure my counterparts in the other affiliate parties are doing the same. This comes as Kenyans continue to raise concerns about the finance bill that has proposed increase of taxes in some of the basic items. The only option left for Kenyans is for the MPs to propose and pass key amendments on taxation measures. Daniel Karioki, KT News, Nairobi. Thank you, Karioki, for 